hello friends welcome back in my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you the steps how to install and configure dhcp server in windows server 2025 machine dhcp server stands for dynamic host configuration protocol it is a service of microsoft server family operating system used to provide dynamic ip addresses to client machine friends dhcp server assign assign the ip addresses on client machine with the help of Dora process. First of all, you have to open your server manager dashboard. After open, you have to just click on add role and features. Now friend, before you begin, you have to just click on next option. In installation type, it is a by default selected role based or feature based installation. Just click on next. Now friend, in server selection, you will see the computer name, your IP address and your operating system edition. Just click on next. Now friends, in server roles, you have to select your DSCP server role and just check mark and just click on add features. Just click on next. We don't have requirement any other features. Just click on next. Now friend DSCP server option just click on next. Now friend that is a confirmation wizard just click on install button. Now friend DSCP server is going to install and it will take few minutes. Now friend DSCP server installation done just close this wizard. And friends just click on tools option in under the tools you have to see DSCP option just click on before a DSCP server can issue IP addresses you must create a scope and authorize the DSCP server a scope is a range of IP addresses that is assigned to computers requesting a dynamic IP addresses authorization is a security precautions that in ensures that only authorized DSCP servers run on your computer network. Now friends, you have to see your fully qualified domain name. You have to authorize your DSCP server. You have to just right click and just check mark authorize. Now friends, after authorize your DSCP server, you have to see IPv4 and IPv6. Now I am select IPv4. In under the IPv4, you will see three options. Server options, policies option, filters options. Means friends, you don't have to create any scope in this server. Now we have to create a new scope. Just right click. Go to the new scope option. Welcome to the new scope wizard. Just click on next. Now friend you have to type your scope name, type your description name and just click on next. Now friends you have to start your IP address range and add the IP address range. I am going to put, put the IP address 192.168.10. And and the IP is 192.168.10.240. Just click on next. Now friend, we don't have exclusion any IP address. Just click on next. Now friend, it is a by default day uh, eight options, eight days. Its uh, its IP address will automatically change by after the eight days. Just click on next. Now friend, you have to configure DSCP. Just click on yes. I want to configure these options now. Just click on next. Now friend, we don't have any router IP address. Just click on next. Now friend, type your server parent domain name. Our parent domain name is testvm.local. Type your server name. Our server name is win iphone srv2025 just check mark dissolve 
I want to check again the host name now that is a correct host name win iphone win iphone srv2024 and our ip address is 50.10.0.0.10 just click on next now friend win server is currently not to use just click on next i want to activate this scope now just click on next just finish just click on scope options just click on address pools options now friend you can see the starting ip address and ending the ip address range now friend scope has been created successfully now friends go to the client machine windows i'm logging the screen by credential you can see that that is it that is a work group machine and domain is not joining this client machine and friends you have to open your lan card by the command ncpa.cpl and run command you will see the lan card just uh, just just right click and status go to the details you will see there is no any ip address is assigned this is machine in this machine you have to disable the lan card first and enable your lancard again now friend you have to right click and go to the status and go to the details now friend you can see dscv server has provided the ip address 192.168.10.10 and go to the server machine and check in address list the uh, you have to see the entry of the client machine's ip address a computer name and your ip address leased date you have to refresh the address leases you have to refresh at least one time now friend you can see the entry of the client machine your ip address uh, which has provided by dscp to client machine your client machine fully qualified domain name and expiry date also now go to the client machine friends now go open the cmd command and if you want to remove this DS, uh, dscp server ip address you have to hit the one command friends if you want to remove the dscp if you want to remove this ip address you have to use one command the command is ip config space slash release and hit enter key and see again Now friend you can see DSCP server has removed the IP address in this client machine because I have used one command and if you want to renew the IP address again you have to use one command IP config space slash renew. Now friend DSCP server has provided IP address again to this client machine and the range is 192.168.10.10 and if you see the land card right click status details you will check the ip address which has provided by client uh, which has provided by dscv server to client machine So friends, I hope you will understand the entire concept which I shared to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.